Hi there, Oak Class. Today's maths is all about fact families, and fact families are really useful to be able to work out because they help you answer questions like this that cropped up in your 10 minute workout yesterday. Uh, and also, I'm sure over the last couple of days, you've been using your knowledge of fact families all the time without probably even realising you're doing it. So, to be successful at finding a fact family, we need to know four things. First thing we need to know is that if we add two numbers together, the answer will always be larger. It will always be greater than the numbers you started with. We also need to know that when you subtract one number from another, your answer will be smaller than the number you started with. We need to know that that equal symbol means the same as, and four number sentences make a fact family. There's two additions, and two subtractions. So let's have a go at making our fact family and see what we can learn from it. Here is a 10 frame. <clears throat> and I've got some orange counters on my 10 frame and I've got some pink on my 10 frame. So how many orange have I got? Well, I've got a whole 10 frame and two on the other 10 frame. So 10 and two is 12. So I've got 12 orange counters. Let's have a look at my pink. I've got four all together. So I've got four pink counters. Twelve add four will tell me how many counters I've got all together. So twelve add four makes sixteen. I've got sixteen counters all together. Twelve are orange, four are pink. Now I can use these three numbers to write four number sentences that will make up my fact family. So here are my empty number sentences waiting for my fact family. <clears throat> so the first one is an add. So I know my answer is going to be the biggest number of the three, which is 16. So my first number sentence is gonna be 12. Add four is the same as 16. I can make another addition with the same three numbers, but this time I'm gonna start with the four. Four add 12 is the same as 16. I can also use these three numbers to write a subtraction. Now, we know that when we're subtracting, the number we started start with has to be the biggest number, and our answer will always be smaller than the number we started with. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with my biggest number, 16, and I'm going to take away 12, and my answer will be 4. I can then swap my 12 and my 4 around again, so I'm going to start with the bigger number. I'm going to take away 4, and the answer is 12. And that there is my fact family. 12 add 4 is 16, 4 add 12 is 16, 16 take away 12 is the same as 4, 16 take away 4 is the same as 12. And I can use knowledge of fact families to help me answer questions like these. Something add 6 is 19. So I can turn my addition into a subtraction to find the answer. So I'm going to start with 19, my bigger number, and I'm going to take away 6. And my answer will be 13. So if 19 take away 6 is 13, 13 add 6 must be 19. Here's another one. And you'll notice on this next question that the same as has moved. It doesn't matter if the same as is at this end or it's at this end. We still do the same thing. And if you see a question like this, and it confuses you having the answer at the beginning, you can always pretend it's at the end because the number sentence will be the same. 15 is the same as something take away five. Now this is a takeaway, so I'm going to turn it into an addition, the inverse. So I'm gonna take my 15 and I'm gonna add my five. 15 add five makes 20. So if 15 add 5 makes 20, then 15 is the same as 20, take away 5. Now, on your weekly planner, you've got four number sentences. I want 
you to write the fact families for each of those number sentences and then why not get an adult to test you and see if you can answer questions just like this one, remembering that this means the same as. Good luck everyone!